Scoop, what you gon' do? Pop out. And the day I feel a little dumb. And I'm really enjoying the world. And the sunlight that's on the level. I'm about to pop out. And I'ma go hard forever. Never wreck, but I got a lot of chuddle. I just bounce back, I'm trying to ball for else. Smooth, what you gon' do? Pop out. Cause the day I feel a little better. And I'm really enjoying the weather. And the sunlight bouncing off the level. I'm about to pop out. And I'ma go hard forever. Never wreck, but I got a lot of chuddle. I just bounce back, I'm trying to ball forever. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Tay. Back with another video. As you can see, my hair is a mess. I got on some dingy clothes. Today's my off day, and I planned on doing a little bit of maintenance to the M45. I know, I know, y'all tired of me dealing with the M45. Y'all want to see the maximum, and I'm going to bring it to y'all eventually. But since I don't post like that, I just want to keep y'all updated on what I'm doing. The good news is I did start working on the maximum though, and I am working on a vlog right now dealing with the Maxima. But without further ado, let's get into it. Today, I'm going to be changing the oil on the M45 and also changing out the, the headlight bulbs. I'm running into an issue where my headlights will flicker and just cut off anytime that they want to. So I'm assuming that the headlight bulbs are blown. I'm not going to go straight to the balance just yet because whenever I cut the lights off and cut them back on, they cut right back on. So since I already got bulbs just laying around i'm going to change the bulbs first and if it continues to do it then i'm going to grab a ballast but i'm only going to change the bulbs today and not the ballast she needs a wash pretty bad that's what happens when you go to south georgia right when you just clean your car and then come back <laughs> i was prepared today i stopped by my storage and grabbed my 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 little oil oil pot whatever you want to call it that's what i call it the oil pot also when you're working on your cars make sure to wear gloves i have a big habit of not wearing gloves and i've messed up a lot of car interior that's why the maximum don't got interior really if you're being real they messed up the walls and all that stuff because i i do mechanic work for a living so Gloves is your best friend. Put on some gloves or at least wash your hands. Don't be no dirty mofo, you feel me? Train plug sits right there. I don't know if I can see it, it's right there. Oop. And the filter sits right here. Should be pretty simple, pretty quick. Hopefully. Let me try to break this off in my clutch. I'm supposed to be off. I was about to mess up something. Okay, you see. Oh, don't do that to me. How you struggling? There you go. I don't even think a lot of oil is going to come out. <laughs> oh, 
Hopefully it's enough. I don't have to grab the other one. Also, we're working on your car. Please put jack stands under it. Obviously, I'm not doing that right now, but it's the safest way to go. I'm just not that safe. But I will start being safe. I promise. It's not a lot. <laughs> That's not a lot. But it's all good. We ain't tripping. M45 is a normal born oil. I'll always keep extra quartz in the car because I know it's going to burn anyways. I normally buy oil filters from Nissan OEM oil filters. And I have a specific store that I go to in Conyers. Sometimes I go. Other times they just ship it out to me from Conyers. But today I went to Griffin Nissan. They didn't know what oil filter fit my car. Apparently they couldn't check Infinity inventory or whatever. Whatever they was trying to tell me. Sound like a whole bunch of bull crap because Nissan and Infinity is basically the same thing. So they asked me, do OEM, Nissan, oil filters fit? I said, yeah. And this better be the right oil filter or we gonna have some problems, you feel me? I'm gonna go back up there and raise hell and praise Dale, you feel me? <laughs> nah, but for real, if they gave me the wrong oil filter, we really gonna have some problems. I'm gonna go up there and yeah, we gonna have some problems. Uh -huh. They got lucky. I actually just read the back of the box of the oil filter. They really got lucky. Just look at the top. Yeah. I don't know where they get that VQ35 from. Because, yeah. I don't know. This is definitely a VK 4.5. Yes, I do daily drive a V8. Because I know somebody's going to ask. Yes, I do. And I know somebody's going to ask me how good it is on gas. Absolutely amazing. For real, for real. Oil filter coming off. Make sure the rubber seal is still intact because you do not want to double gasket. Normally these oil filters come with crush rushers, but obviously they didn't give me one. It's okay. No stress. You take some old oil and you wipe it around. It's the proper way to do it. This is what makes it not so hard to come off. Check inside. Okay, we good. Ah. Hand tight only. Don't be over tightening the oil filter. My hand started slipping. <clears throat> okay. Hand tight only. I be nervous a lot, so I checked the oil filter again with a sharp rag, tightened it up some more. And now we can add the oil. I'm fat, so I'm out of breath. <laughs> the 
lovely VK45. I probably need to change this air filter too. I'm not gonna cap. I'll change it another day. And I know somebody's gonna ask me what oil do I run in my car. I want Pam's oil. Not this particular one, but this is all he had at Walmart. So I just grabbed it because I'm in dire need of an oil change. Like, I probably went over the mileage, probably about a good 4,000. Yeah, that's, that's how long it's been since I changed the oil. And I know I'm slacking. I work a lot. I don't really have a lot of time. And I'm not finna pay somebody to change my oil. That's what I'm not finna do. This car takes around maybe 6.4, close to 7 quarts. It doesn't take a full eight. So one of the jugs that I have is going to be left over with a little bit in it. Ooh. I be trying not to spill it. Sometimes I do be spilling it because I don't be using the funnel. So, I was wrong about how much oil this takes. It's 5.9. This is 5 quarts right here. So, we're going to add a good amount of this. And then we're going to save the rest. I'm trying to drink, my baby. I'm trying to drink. I thought I spilled it. Well, I was going to be mad. And that'll do it. I'm more than likely probably overfilled it, but it's gonna burn anyway, so let it burn. Another thing I like to do is save my oil and then throw it away the proper way. Call my first first. An oil filter. Enjoying him. <clears throat> I take my oil and I put it back in the container. So you can dispose of it the proper way. So obviously, my car had a little oil. <laughs> yeah, because it's not filled up all the way. All this glass and stuff. Ew. So once you finish with that, you know. Put it back in your bag. Let's 
so you can keep your environment clean. Environment and workspace. And yeah, that's how you change oil. Me being me, I would check the oil to see if it's at a proper level, but the car is kind of sitting at an angle, so it's not going to read properly. But I'm 100% certain that I probably slightly overfilled it. And now, as promised, I'm going to change the headlights. Also, I didn't say this at the beginning of the video. I might look and sound a little weird. I am a little under the weather, but I'm with the... I always push through, you feel me? So on the M45, in order to get to the headlights, I can either take the headlights out or I can remove the intake and remove the battery. So take it off the throttle body. I forgot it was still on. on. Take it off the throttle body. Already disconnected the math. I did that off camera. It's simple. Just pop it out. And take out. And lights this right here. Right here. There's two little tabs in here that you got to move. Y'all can probably send, y'all probably can't. And once you move those tabs, the the headlight well basically becomes free. It doesn't look blown, but then when you look at the middle, it kind of looked blown. So I'm going with it's blown. But if it's not blown, we're gonna set it somewhere safe. And do not touch the bulb with your hand. Do not. Okay, so that's my old bulb right there. These are my new bulbs. My old bulb had a hint of blue in it, and these have white in it, I believe. Unless they lied to me. So, put the bulbs back in now with the new bulbs. And basically, the way you got them out is how you put them back in. Do not, and I repeat, do not touch the bulb with your hand. I had to struggle for a little minute, can't see nothing, but it's in there. That is bright. Bright white, hint of blue. You see the light over there? It's gonna cut off in a second. It might cut off. You see how it flickers though? It's probably gonna do it again. I 
I have to take the battery out to get to the other headlight. always have a hard time with the negative. It always acts like it don't want to come up. I can't find my three X ten millimeter. So I'm gonna use an eleven. Loosen the nut, but it won't loosen up. But that's fine because I still got this time for that part. Now make sure you put these in a safe place so you don't lose them. Be careful when you take out the positive. Make sure you're not in contact with any other metals because you will get shocked. Or even worse, <laughs> you'll weld the ratchet into whatever it's touching. So be careful. Mm -mm -mm. Should be loose enough. Loose enough. I just drew. <laughs> I just drew. There we go. 
So now that you got these off, move them out the way. Put on your gloves when dealing with a battery. <laughs> Why does video turn into a tutorial? <laughs> Take the battery out. Ooh. Sit it in a safe spot. Oh, wow. I'm missing the cap on that side. I never knew that. The same way you took it out, the same way you put it back in. This is my least favorite part of working on my car. I hate taking the battery off. And if you have a sound system, expect to see a few sparks. Whenever you connect the battery back, it's just how it is. It's annoying. And then the way Infinity designed this battery to go, it's just horrible. Like, look how close the negative is to the frame. I've had a lot of problems with that, but it is what it is. I'm just going to have to deal with it. When I connect my negative, I said my negatives, my negative, I normally move it out the way so it doesn't touch the frame. I've had an issue with this when I first bought the car and I couldn't figure it out, but now I have it all figured out. So I normally just turn the negative to where it touches the battery. I don't know if that's good or bad for the battery, don't really care. <laughs> if it's bad, I'll just buy another battery. Shouldn't move. That's what I'm talking about, I shouldn't move. No, she creates sparks. <laughs> just, yeah, just the least, my least favorite part right here. Ooh. It wasn't that bad this time. Don't judge me. I had it on the off, the off position. I don't know how. Call me a wuss. Call me whatever you want to call me. But you're not supposed to make a... A closed circuit with a positive. 
may not be a closed circuit, but you just get very precautious. Don't forget your bracket. Don't forget where you put your bolts at. Not secure. Not secure, huh? Not a moment of truth. You can tell my stool. like we in the game. No flicker. No flicker. No flicker. Yes, sir. So that is how you change your light bulbs in your 2003 M45 and I'm pretty sure it's the same with other cars. I normally park in the garage but I have a lot of stuff in here right now. So I'm going to pull the car out. I got to keep this with me. I'm going to keep uh, If I install the battery back correctly, because I thought I have problems with that negative, it should start straight up. <laughs> See, I told you. stuff I have to deal with. Alright, let's see what happens this time.
I appreciate y'all for watching. I just wanted to bring out a video since I ain't brought y'all a video in a minute. And I'm going to try to keep uploading. Like I said, I am working on the vlog for the maximum. And when I finish that, I'm going to drop it. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And yeah, follow me on Instagram too at TavyQ. Also, I post a lot of things there. So if you don't see something on YouTube, you'll probably see it on Instagram and so forth. Vice versa. Yeah. Peace.